Pure breeding is a form of genetic manipulation humans made up just to amuse ourselves. In 19th century Victorian England, eugenics was all the rage, and competitive dog breeding became a weird, fancy fad. I made a dog with super loose skin. I made one with a super flat f***ed up face. Oh, now that is disturbing. I'm your god now. Once these Dr. Frankensteins were satisfied, they dubbed their little monsters pure breeds and used kennel clubs to enforce their bizarre standards. Behold my newest creation, the Corgi. A Corgi is 10 to 12 inches tall with a foxy head, wide, flat skull, and non-sly expression. So if your dog looks sly, it's a pose of freak, and it's out of the club. That's all a Corgi really is, an arbitrary definition made up by a weirdo. Okay, but when you get a purebred, you get a good, healthy dog, right? Nope. When you hear purebred, you should think inbred. Inbred? Like a hot dog? Adorable, but no. Kennel clubs prohibit purebred dogs from mating outside their breed, and often they're mated to members of their own family, making the average pug as inbred as an Austrian duke. My blood is very pure. <laughs> well, maybe inbreeding is not that bad. We concur. Inbreeding is quite natural, isn't it, sister? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely not. The sad truth is, purebred dogs suffer from disturbingly high rates of genetic disease. It's because of a problem called the genetic bottleneck. Here to explain is Dr. Kirk Lohmuller, professor of evolution at UCLA. Hi, Adam. Here's the problem with pure breeding. When species breed in the wild, they can exist in large populations and can mate randomly. This ensures a nice, healthy distribution of genetic variation. But when humans started pure breeding dogs, we had them mate over and over again with their relatives to get a specific look. When we artificially limited the gene pool in that way, we created a genetic bottleneck. As the same small gene pool is spread between more and more dogs, diseases that would normally be rare become inevitable. 